what I found when mum was diagnosed with cancer, I was just so worried that I just wanted to do something and get as much information as possible. I was completely, completely scared out of my wits. I mean, I was really frightened. Immediately this kind of, this black curtain fell before my eyes. I went online immediately. You know, I got my computer out and typed in invasive ductal carcinoma. And that was quite scary because of course, you know, there were so many different sites, you don't know where to start. You get so many sites which are full of doom and gloom. And basically, I think anybody reading them would be, just be terrified and give up. So for me to find a particular site which addressed all my concerns, but in a very kind of comforting, moderate way, was really helpful and it made me feel much calmer as well. And going to the discussion forums on the um, Macmillan site, getting the experiences of people who, who had been diagnosed, it was just a really, really helpful resource and I wouldn't have done without it because as the son of somebody fighting breast cancer, it was enlightening. I found this kind of thing particularly helpful. It's somebody who's been newly diagnosed with IBC and she's only 43 and she has two small children, so of course she's very scared and I found that everybody is scared, you know, and it's the natural thing. I mean, that's the natural emotion because cancer is a minefield and nobody knows what's going to happen. They always say that knowledge is power and I think when you're dealing with such an awful illness, you need to know as much as possible. And emotionally, it was just an awful time for everybody as you can imagine, but you know, with support and information, you, you, somehow, you somehow work your way through things. Mum was very stoic. Her attitude was, I will take it each step at a time. The person who's diagnosed has an awful lot going through their mind. They're not quite sure which way to turn, but if there's somebody who can actually get information and give them a bit of support and say, you know, can you ask this question to the oncologist? Can you ask this question to the surgeon? I think it gives you a direction and you know more what you're up against and it kind of narrows that field down. I think she found that quite helpful really because it kept her focused and it, it, it made the field less scary I think. Just knowing that people out there are going through it and seeing what steps are being taken to help them in some way helps you and helps you give support to your relative who's, who's tackling it to say oh look mum as I often did um, you know, this person's doing this and this person's fine. And there's a lot of success stories as well. If they hadn't been there, I think I would have been in a far worse state. I would have really been, I would have been climbing the walls, you know. People always say keep positive and mum definitely kept positive.